player. I mean, he's a young player. He's got some things he learn, needs to learn. But he also has some things, Chris, that flat out cannot teach. He's a uniquely skilled guy that can get to the rim. You know, this Pacer team is a team that's got it started and can really get it going. 109-108, they lost, and a basket Dylan starts Brooks. from Dylan Brooks. See that? He, he's got to take the shot. And Brogdon for three. Well, that'll help him because Moran can't come and help out. In shooting just 31%, has not shot it as well as he would like, and that's a three, and he's Dylan shooting Dylan it well. Jared Jackson, Jr. Real nice young players, Moran. Jackson is really good. They'll come with Brandon Clark. And a three from T.J. Warren. Good to see that. This is a team that Moran will find shooters out on the perimeter. Valanchunas goes in the lane and got it over Turner. Heck of a move. Michigan State. And Brogdon inside. That'll touch. Good to see that touch. And the rules are just what the rules are. They, uh... Um, you go back and see if it's a two or a three, and if there's a, something else that happens in that time frame. This works one-on-one -on, -one on Valanchunas. Valanchunas is so strong, so Bones is having a hard time. That's why he's got to take that shot. He's having a hard time getting into the paint. Made the last few years in Minnesota with the Timberwolves out of Duke, and it's taken away. The Pacers get the turnover. Warren to the basket with a left hand. Oh, I'm telling you, he just took Kuderich and put it under the basket with a chest. First seven, just nine. They both were in the starting lineup on Monday in Brooklyn. That's Warren for two more. He likes to come back left. Miles Turner rolled left. Since they trailed by five, they've outscored the Grizzlies 15 to two. And that is at the rim. And that's Brandon Clark again. He's got six. Solomon Hill, the former Pacer, is in. He comes off the bench. And that's... Stay down. Clark again. Yeah, he's able to get his body on Miles Turner. Number one for Memphis is Kyle Anderson, the former San Antonio Spur. That's Holiday gets inside and put it up off the glass. That wasn't a layup. That's a hook shot. In position to get him off the snide a little bit. Kyle Anderson went underneath and he got an elbow right into Justin Holiday. The two Holidays and McConnell are off the bench. Well, you got to think about it from a different perspective. We got a coaching staff that now has a lineup that we're expecting and managing the psyche of all of that. Coming over to help is Anderson with a left hand and Turner got it. And ladies and gentlemen, they're going to go through eight to ten games easily until they find out what's the best combination to have. Here's Aaron Holiday for the second time and he got it from his brother. My knitting skills is not, not the head, my knitting skills. And down to the post is Jackson Jr., who has 12. Will have injuries, but one of the advantages of having all these injuries early, this staff has found how many players can play, and you know that guy can play as a rookie, John Moran. Me and Kevin Pritchard particularly deserve a lot of credit. Just to come out of the summer with this many good players. This is where Memphis is tricky in transition. And a bucket for Dylan Brooks, and that was John Moran. That, that's what helps you win games. Show and go. Oh, yeah, a little show and go by McConnell. Double doubles end on Saturday when he had 25 points and nine rebounds. Got to be ready. To oh, oh, oh. Got to be ready. <laughs> Plenty of time. And Jeremy Lance. I mean, you just have different guys when this year can create their own shots. Miles did a really nice job in there as Warren goes inside and scores. 13 point Pacers advantage, two and a half to play in the half. He, he needs a screen. Yeah, he wanted a, a screen. The reason he wanted one. Moran. John Moran. He's got six all in this quarter. He's automatically thrown it. Miles was just lost in thought. Lamb uses the screen, and Lamb has his fourth two-point field goal. You can catch it and make a shot as he just did. And that's way off, but Jackson got the rebound, and he puts it up and in. Jared Jackson, Jr. Last time on the first win against Brooklyn, and that's Moran. Looked like a healthy move there. Moran is leaning over. You can see him still bothered by that back. And Warren pounds it down. I think Miles was a foul. Brooks has nine. He's got a post up here that favors the Pacers. 
Zag versus Zag. Sabonis against Clark. Yeah, there's not much Clark can do there. Crowder cut off by Warren. Another three by Jackson. Jaron Jackson. Uh, Players Association. Natalie Achanwa from the Indiana Fever is here tonight as Jay Crowder hits the three. Sears are 11 of 18. They're 61% from the field and 61% from three. And a guy who was 8 of 8 from the field earlier in that Denver game. As he was dribbling on the baseline. Pacers by 18. Anderson scores. This is the, this is the first shooting space. McConnell. Short. I thought he shot it short because it came out. It looked like it slipped out of his hand. Times bestsellers are among the masked singers. No mention of an NBA All-Star as Justin Holiday knocks down the three. Victor no doubt likes that shot. Intuitive standpoint of where guys are going to go, where they have to be in order to be effective. This guy just scores. Well, you thought I was making it up when I told you you could play. Shot clock, game clock at two. McConnell gets oh, it Tindra. off. Oh, Tindra! Count it! And the, the guys are all over it. McConnell and McDermott for the Indiana Pacers trying to get their 10th victory of the season. McConnell again. Another rebound a minute deep into the fourth quarter. On full display, a three oh, by Aaron Holiday. Solomon Hill is in here in the fourth. That cut to Morant, who scores. John Morant. That one not work. Oh. oh. John Moran comes and blocks Justin Holiday's shot. And Moran lays it in. John Moran. And it's a 19-point game. He never recognized. That was John Moran that was guarding Sabonis, and he never recognized it. Now Solomon Hill comes uh, down the lane all the way to the rim. Yeah, you got a small lineup. And it doesn't matter. If you don't have Jackson guarding Sabonis. He can't really guard it. He can't do, can't do much. Pacers have made a season-high 16 three-point shots. All oh, Crowder's baskets, watch the three of them are threes. Watch Look at that. Oh, I'm telling you, you got to watch it. 27th in the league in scoring defense as Brogdon gets inside and scores. He has 14. I'm sure he's, he's, he's tutoring, but what John Moran has, but for the most part, you can't teach. He just threw that out of double team at almost half court. Left hand. Pacers lead is 17. It's been as high as 29. They had a huge run. They took over this game back in the first quarter, and that's a three by Warren. Four to play, a comfortable 20-point lead for Indiana as Warren dribbled it into traffic, and Morant again. Valanciunas exploded in that third quarter. Early uh, third quarter, fourth quarter, another basket, and another three, and it's Doug McDermott. A dive underneath three. That's a heck of a catch, because he's a team. Team rebounds for the Mad Ants as they got their first win, and that's Alizé Johnson. Tunis has an eight-point quarter. They can anything for granted. Grayson Allen, he slides it in off the glass. He, he still wants the guys to continue to play hard and take advantage of the minutes. And the blow blow. He had 11 points against the Pacers a year ago. Eight points for the Grizzlies that night. There's nothing, there's nothing that you bring up. I just, I where do you find this? Guterich, a three. It's impressive. First of all, that you got everybody on the floor yep. and no injuries. That's what you want, and you'll continue to get better. It's an